we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hi everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. It's Saturday morning and I'm just having my breakfast. I always like to watch something on YouTube for breakfast while I am eating. And one of my goals is to learn how to cook. So lately I've just been trying to watch some more like cooking videos and recipe videos as well. So did I mention today is Saturday and I think I just need to do a bit of like life maintenance. Um, everything just feels like a bit of a mess in this room. In my other room a few weeks ago i actually found a couple of pieces of clothing that i used to wear at uni it was kind of my uni capsule wardrobe so none of it is really like my style anymore so i think i might just um donate it to a charity shop just do a bit of a life admin today first step of my life admin is that i've had these clothes in my wardrobe for a little bit um from back in my uni days so I think I'm going to finally say goodbye to these and donate them at my local charity shop. I feel like for most people, cleaning their wardrobe on a weekly basis is probably not a thing. When you do YouTube videos and you kind of move things in and out like daily, um, it does get very, very hectic very fast. So step two, I am going to clean up this crazy mess behind me, which has just been giving me a headache all week. Firstly, I found these frames in my wardrobe. They definitely don't need to be there. I will find a new home for these. I don't know what I was thinking when I got these IKEA hangers, but I just find it to be such a hassle to use. I feel like if you're not a blogger and you're not constantly having to take your clothes out, put it back in, these will be okay. But for me, these are just very, very painful. Finding a new home for those. It is getting way too hot right now. Um, Sydney mornings are still a little bit cold, but by the time it's lunchtime, it's like, it feels like 28 degrees maybe. Um, so not sweater weather. I think I'm gonna pop on this Do Wen blouse, which is one of my favorites, and you know, it's right here. So I'm gonna pop this on and find a pair of trousers to go with it. Didn't end up wearing the Do Wen top just because um, it felt a bit fussy, and I know I'm about to do a bit of cooking later, so I didn't wanna wear something that nice. I mean, that being said, I do have this new Cezanne skirt on, but with these two items, um, it just feels a bit more casual. I don't know what the logic was really. Um, but feeling productive, I just put a load in the washing. Back to organizing. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Sometime in the next few weeks, I am going to be painting this room white, which I'm so excited about. In real life, the walls don't look amazing, and I'm just so excited to paint them a nice fresh coat of white. I just need someone to give me a hand in moving the bed. Otherwise, I don't have a lot of furniture in this room, and it's all pretty portable. I am going to go downstairs, take down some of my recycling, and then I'm going to make a vegetarian japchae um, for lunch. Is that how I say it? I'm not too sure, but like a Korean noodle dish. Yesterday I went out for lunch, had quite a lot of meat, um, so today I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a nice vegetarian vegetable detox. Hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. So I've just finished making this japchae um, and this is what it's looking like. I actually have a picnic tomorrow so this is a bit of a test run um, and here it is. Hi everyone, boy has it been a bit of a crazy morning. Um, I have the picnic today so I've just been kind of preparing a little like charcuterie board, some like noodles and iced tea. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna quickly get ready, get changed. It's something like 32 degrees Celsius today and it's like springtime. So I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and get changed into something that feels a little bit more appropriate. I'm just wearing a really comfortable linen dress. It's just because it is so hot today and we're having a picnic outdoors and I just want to be 
super super comfortable so this is a dress I've gone with it's also very minimal and laid back which I love I'm using my Loewe basket bag and then I have this other like basket thing um, that I'm using to store some of my picnic things we have the two tablecloths we've got my little bread that I just went to the store to purchase all my other food is in the box and I'll show you that in a bit but I am almost ready to go Hi everyone, it is Monday, I've just filmed the reel and it's like 33 degrees today so I'm like so hot, it's so sweaty in this room because there's no aircon um, so I'm going to go into my bedroom and just relax in the aircon for a bit and I'll catch up with you there okay, feeling much better, much cooler now and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go edit the reels for an upload tonight and some point today, if it kind of cools down a bit outside, I want to go out and shoot these earrings. And while I'm kind of talking about these earrings, I thought I would show you my little hoop collection. Because I recently bought a pair of hoops that I'm just not crazy about. Um, and kind of wanted to show you. These are the pair that I pretty much wear the most. Um, they are a chunkier, larger hoop. But they're very light and comfortable to wear. This pair here is much smaller. But they still have like a really nice chunkiness to them um, As well as that like croissant detail which is cute This is like a very simple pair from Majuri This is their boyfriend hoop with like a flat edge which is nice And these ones are the ones I recently purchased and I'm just not a fan of these These are a pair from Missima that I recently purchased And while I love some of their jewellery, this earring is not something I recommend It looks stunning on but they're just too heavy to be comfortable and I think I'm pretty much going to reserve these for like special occasions and you know when I just want to go for like the chunky gold hoop look and even the pair I have on now I really actually like as well obviously these were gifted but I do purchase a lot of Majuri jewelry myself like the necklace this little Majuri earring I also purchased myself this one is from the Australian brand by Charlotte that was just something quick that I wanted to talk about because I have been wearing these in videos quite a lot and in case any of you guys were interested I don't think um, these are necessarily worth it Good morning everyone, I'm just getting ready to go out for lunch with my friend and I thought I would pull out this little sundress today and wear it um, it's about 28 degrees On Monday I mentioned I wanted to go out and shoot the Majuri hoops I didn't get a chance to, um, so I'm going to try and do that today So I thought the yellow dress would match really nicely with like the gold earrings I'm actually going to check the um, guidelines for posting Like sometimes it'll give you a bit of a mood board The mood board has a lot of like pink in it I don't think I can show you exactly the mood board, but it has a lot of like pink tones in it um, which this dress is obviously not, but I think that's okay because um, I can just find like a soft pink background and I feel like it will kind of fit into the into the aesthetic well So one of the things I also want to do today um, is actually check out the shops and see if they have like a plaid jacket um, I've been seeing them on every single blogger I follow but it is just a jacket style that I really really like Last year I got one from Cezanne, I'm not sure if you guys remember but it's like a yellow orange plaid which I ended up returning just because it was a bit too boxy um, So I'm looking for something else that is similar but just a little bit more fitted for my shape So if I wasn't shooting the Majuri thing today I feel like this necklace also looks really nice um, paired with this dress, like a little dainty pearl would be cute I feel like these earrings would be super cute as an alternative to the hoop because it's got that yellow and white kind of pattern on the dress anyway I've been feeling a little bit like guilty this week because I feel like I'm not that organized with YouTube right now so I would like to kind of get things together a little bit this morning before I go out so um, let's hop downstairs make our tea and then let's do some admin work 
So this is actually a new tea pot. My friend gave it to me on, at the picnic the other day and I absolutely love it. It's so minimal, clean, and I just think it's such a cute shape. I also recently bought some of this tea, which I am just obsessed with. Um, it is so good. It's just from my um, local Korean Asian supermarket and it's just a Japanese tea with roasted rice. It is amazing. I put some of it in this pot and I wish you could smell it right now. It is just unreal. So this is the proper outfit today. Um, it is a bit cold right now indoors, so I still have my sweater on um, And I quite like the mixing of patterns with like the stripe and the yellow I feel like the navy and yellow go really well together um, And I've got to mention but this dress and I'll do a cutaway of it um, Is from Zulu and Zephyr, which is an Australian brand based in Byron Bay I'm actually doing a very exciting trip to Byron Bay soon. This dress is just a really gorgeous summery piece that I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear in the next few months in Australia. I have decided to use this little Saint Laurent bag today. This is the Saint Laurent Kate. And I just tied a bit of a knot inside to shorten the strap a little bit. So it kind of sits at the ideal length for me as a shoulder bag. I pretty much always carry a tote bag around um, because I prefer my bags to be very small just to carry the essentials. And I put my camera, jacket, whatever else I need into this bag. For shoes, I'm wearing these Chloe scallop slides, which I just absolutely love. I love the design of these and the fact that they have quite a lot of like Chloe details to it without being like a branded logo kind of shoe. You can kind of see my little outfit in the mirror there. But okay, time to head off. Hey guys, so I had a really lovely day in the city and my mum and I are just shooting some content, the Majuri little earrings that I mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna actually pop you guys down somewhere and just show you the behind the scenes of shooting content. So this is one of my favorite places for photos whenever I'm not sure of where to go. So we're gonna try a few more against this background and see how it goes. Hey guys, I am home now. I just literally got in the door. I wanted to quickly show you what's in my little Mecca box. Um, every season they kind of give you like a free box of samples to try out um, if you are one of their like members. I just opened my box and there are some really lovely goodies so I wanted to quickly show you. The first thing is this UFO face oil which I am dying to try. I do definitely get some breakouts and this clarifying oil I feel like would be perfect for my skin so Super, super excited to try this. The Strong Elephant Lala Cream is one of my favorites. It is only a bit expensive as a go-to cream, but I think it's one of the best hydrating creams out there without being too thick or oily. The next item is this Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Gel. And then we also have this Dr. Dennis Grass Melt Away Cleanser, which would be cute for traveling. I actually love getting these boxes every season, and I'm just gonna try some of these things out tonight. I am gonna go downstairs, have dinner, and then come back and edit this vlog. Um, I will actually be filming a fashion video tomorrow, so it will be up really soon after you see this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got up to this week, and I will see you soon. Bye.